This is a very specific video. A friend of mine asked me how I was able to render my videos with high quality when using a JVC camera. I'm talking about this camera right here. So if you're looking at this video, you probably have the same camera and you're wondering what to do about your videos and how to convert them and how to produce them with really high quality. This camera right here, the JVC Averio camera, produces digital files in, a, um, in an SD card and produces them in, in this format right here, which I had never heard of until I first started working with this camera. So this is an example of the file. It produces files in an MOD format, which is basically an MPG format with a different extension. Now this is the, f the file that we're going to work with in order to show you how you can manipulate these files in order to, in order to better uh, produce your videos. Now I am not sure about this but I'm, I think that you can upload these files directly into YouTube and YouTube will convert them to FLV and uh, you won't have any problems doing that but that is considering the fact that you don't want to do any kind of editing to your videos. But if you do want to do any kind of addition to them, then you're probably going to need to convert them to something else so that your editing program is able to accept them. So this is, this is an MOD file. We look at the properties. It's a short clip. Um, it's uh, 11 megabytes. So um, it's not too big, kind of short. It'll help us uh, play with it a little bit. So the first thing that you need to do before you do anything is change the extension. So go ahead and change the extension from MOD to MPG. Most likely if you have the right codex automatically the system will know that it is a video file and if you double click on it whatever uh, program you have running will show it. So this is basically, okay hold on let me stop this for a second. This is basically a video clip of mine at the um, I think this is the Metropolitan Museum of Art and um, it's a very simple clip, just one take. This is what the camera does. Every time you press record it makes a different file. So it's only 13 seconds long. So you can see that immediately after changing the extension the program knows that it's, um, that it's an MPG. So let's close this for a second. The first thing that I do is convert it to another program. Um, you can change it to different things. If you're used to working with uh, Windows Media Video, which I don't personally like, but if you if you like that, you can convert it to um, Windows Media Video (WMV). So the program that I use is this one right here. It's got a weird name. It's um, FLV to AVI MPEG WMV 3GP MP4 iPod converter. This is actually made by a company called A1 Software. So Google it, and I think it's about $20 uh, to get it. But I truly recommend it. You can pretty much convert anything to everything, and it's it's the best uh, converting program I've ever worked with and I've tried a lot of programs. So go ahead and bring in the file and what it does, it analyzes it, sees if it can convert it and then you choose whatever settings you want to change it to. So let's go ahead and first let's convert it to um, MOV that is QuickTime MOV and I'm going to use H.264 format. So I'm using that profile right there and using the highest settings I can find. The best video quality and a frame rate, make sure that it's 29.97. Audio quality at 128 is good. So let's convert it. Okay, the program just finished, and now I have my MOV file. And if we double click on it, QuickTime will now read this file, which is about the same size. So we didn't lose a lot of quality. We we're just changing the, um, the, the um, program uh, codec that we're using. So here it is in quick time, and I'm also able to uh, to play it. What are you, doing? you can tell that it is still interlaced, and uh, we're going to work on that in just a second. 
So um, you can also convert it to um, Windows Media if you want to edit it in the Windows Media video. So if you want to convert to uh, WMV or AVI or MPG, uh, there's all these different formats. I'm pretty sure that if you convert to AVI that uh, Windows Movie Maker will accept it. So just for the sake of it, let's also uh, convert it to AVI. Um, let's use the uh, XVID codec and uh, also try the best um, settings and let's convert. So now I have the original file and the AVI file and the MOV file. Of course the kind of um, video that you want to convert to depends on the kind of program that you are going to use. If you're going to use Adobe Premiere, you're probably going to convert into AVI, as well as if, if you're using uh, Windows Movie Maker, if you're using um, any kind of Apple software, then MOV is the right way to go. I use Avid Express and Avid Media Composer, therefore I always convert to MOV. So we don't need to convert it now. You can, you can also do batch converting uh, all your files, but we're not going to use this program anymore. Now, the thing is that you can basically uh, convert all these, uh, I mean not convert, but edit all these videos and, uh, and whatever program you're using and after that you're going to have to render or produce them and tweak the settings to get what you want. Of course, the better quality, the more, uh, the bigger the size that the video is going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the MOV file and pretend like I did some kind of editing to it. Um, you need to have a QuickTime Pro in order to do this. But say that I got rid of a, of a big chunk. So let's cut this out. And now I only have a uh, six second video. So you can go ahead with that six second video and export it to show you the good settings uh, to export this kind of video. So. Um, we have to assume that you do have QuickTime Pro. If you don't have QuickTime Pro, you cannot do this. Go ahead and go File, Export, and I'm going to export it um, imagining that um, that I am going to um, use this for um, for YouTube. Okay, so I'm making a new folder calling it YouTube. Um, so let's um, Let's see what settings I use. When I when I export to YouTube, I go Movie, and then I choose QuickTime Movie, and then in the options, here's what I choose. Under Settings, go ahead and um, we are going to choose Compression Type H.264. This is usually the best settings. It's a little slow to produce, but um, I really I really think it's the best. Frame rate, you can either use current if you're sure you're using 2997 or go ahead and choose it from the list. Every 24 frames is good. I sometimes go with 20. Um, I usually go with faster encode with a single pass. And restrict to, it depends on the size you're going to export it as. I usually export it as 640 by 360. So um, something along the lines of 1024 kilobytes per second will be pretty good. So we can just click OK here. For the size, leave the filter alone. For size, we will um, go for custom um, 640 by 360. This is um, a 69 ratio. And we're going to make sure that it's going to deinterlace. So make sure this is ticked. Click OK. The sound, we really don't need something as high as 160. So I usually go with 128, 112. Depends on how big you want the file to be. Then click OK. And um, now we're just going to save it with whatever name you want to give it. And it's going to export it as an, as an MOV. So click on Save. And it's going to take a while to export, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so the video exported and now I have my file as an MOV and we can look at it and it looks pretty decent and I can play it and it has uh, 
that's a fairly good quality. It could have been better, but um, there's always a trade-off between one and the other. Now, what I figure is the best way to do it is bringing it into Avid Express, then export it as a QuickTime reference, and then export it again as H.264. But that's a whole other video by itself, so I hope that at least you learned something with this short tutorial.